Welcome, I am from MutualSalt.net and this is our pre-alpha guide for AS Ballistic. As the game, game mode and map are still incomplete, details contained in this video may change. We will update this video when the game is launched. AS Ballistic was the most popular map in UT99 and could be found in the map list of almost every pug in competitive match played at the time. Now brought into full UT4 glory by Blood King. Once again, players can assault the mountain missile base in order to hijack a warhead and destroy an enemy orbital station. The attackers face a variety of objectives to complete the map. The first objective is easy enough. Simply disable the laser field that secures the access tunnel. Enjoy the free points while you can, because the map is an uphill struggle from here. As an attacker, you will want to spread out to reach the main gate of the complex. Both sides have a mini and sniper, as well as a supplementary weaponry available. Attackers can utilize the cliff on the right to gain a height advantage as well as a sneak to the complex wall. Simply touch the main gate to set a beacon and move out of the way so your tank can destroy the door, giving your access to the complex. This switch deactivates the defender's frontline teleporter, giving you an easier time to push up and secure the armor. And this switch opens a sniper nest which gives you a risky window to skip an objective and access the complex early. The common way to progress the assault is to destroy the next objective. The outer generator that powers a lot of auxiliary functionality, including the outer door controls. Enter the damage building and simply shoot the conduit until it explodes. You can see the remaining health of the objective on the HUD display as a percentage. Whether you enter via the sniper nest or generator, you will make your way into the main complex area. There are two ways to access the next objective. By jumping from the lift through the window, or by the lower tunnel. If you decide to go through the upper route, there's an optional switch here that will open an additional door for attackers, making the next objective easier to obtain. The next objective is the warhead loader, which is a switch at the end of the corridor here. Simply touch the switch to load the warhead ready to launch it. Note that the defending team will have a very entrenched position here, and the distance to the objective from your spawn will be long. This objective is where your team will need to outfrag, outskill, and outmaneuver your opponents the most. If you succeed, the mission is almost complete. The final objective can be found in this area of the complex. Once again, you can move through the area from above or from below. You can find another optional switch here that opens up an additional room to reach final. This is the final switch to launch the missile and destroy the orbital station. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.